Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at the lights again a little bit longer, and we're going to look at a couple lights besides these point lights. I've been using point lights from the previous lesson where I wanted a nice local light up close to illuminate the scene. Let's see if we can see where this one is. This has, yeah, see, this isn't even illuminating the sphere of light from the previous lesson because you can see where its influence is right here based on this spherical distance that I have. See, if I turn it off, you'll see the influence there but I can also change it like there. It's a great technique and this technique's really great. You can see down here at the base with Blender Render it had a hard time with you know shadows because it wasn't really reflecting the light off of here and bouncing it back up into the scene like this but you can change that on your own just by putting let's see let's get our camera view like that and maybe I want to move my light down here in the scene Maybe I'll just put a little purple light, maybe a dark purple. You know, there's dark purples down in shadows, bluish cold colors like that. And there's my circle of influence. So then when I render it, then I'm actually seeing some some light bouncing like that. And then I might put another one there. So you kind of have to use a lot of lights within Blender Render if you want to try and simulate a realistic effect. But if you like to paint type things you can do some really cool stuff within blender render and then you can also do it within the game engine because you can't do cycles within the game engine so it has its advantages as well for sure all right so let's another thing let's take a look at is where's this light up there that point light let's turn that point light into a spotlight and spotlights were the ones that for years were the only ones that cast shadows within blender render like that again you have to be set over here and I've pressed down here your shading has to be set to GLSL if you want to see this effect and you have to be in texture mode right down here as well to see the effect alright so this is fun and you can do some nice effects let's render this one as well and here notice I have a halo and that's because down here under the spot I have right down here halo checked I'll uncheck it and now there's no thing. So maybe you want to do a halo of some sort, right? It works pretty well. It does a pretty good job, right? So in this case, I need this object to be a little bit of a different color. So I'm going to change that color. Let's see. Better make it a greenish color. Let's see how it looks now when it's rendered. Yeah, okay. And now... see the color of my spot as well I don't want just let's change the color here I mean, and there we have a little halo effect so it works pretty good and you can do some nice things and if you have hard edges sometimes you get hard edges on these spots but the like, same thing you use a little point light with low intensity change these values in here and you can kind of soften that whole thing up like that all right well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson